Hey guys, it's Andy with Armstrong Coaching with another episode of Cooking Like a Dude. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. I talk in a lot of my videos about using marinara sauce and I'm just like, go to the store, buy your favorite marinara sauce. And then uh, recently I've been gone looking at uh, the ingredients of them and some of them are way more healthy than others and then I've become somewhat of a snob. But as a dude, I don't know if I really have like the chops to like make my own, but I'm going to try it tonight. And uh, I'm going to make a big old pot of it because I use it a lot. So a lot of cooking like a dude is outsourcing stuff. So you you put stuff in a pan, like frozen vegetables, you, you just combine them all in a pan. So today we're going to do our own sauce. And uh, I'll be honest, this is like the first time I've ever done it. So I'm like taking maybe a step above my comfort level. But uh, I appreciate you guys growing with me and uh, watching me kind of expand my horizons. So let's just see how it turns out. Okay, so I got a pot. I hope it's a big pot. I'm gonna do a double batch, and uh, by the stuff, all the stuff that I have prepared, it might be a lot. But I got four tablespoons of olive oil, and then uh, they had me chop two onions up, and we're gonna put the onions in, and then we're gonna get this going until these onions turn translucent. So that's our first part of this. Is uh, we're gonna put the onions in, and we're just gonna cook them until they're translucent, all right? So uh, this is gonna take a little while, so we'll come back when they're about ready to done and we'll see if I haven't screwed it up yet, okay guys? We'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, so we got these onions cooking pretty good. They're getting translucent. I think we're on to add another step. So, so far I haven't screwed this up. Got some good onions. So eight cloves of garlic. Um, my wife told me this ninja trick, how you make garlic and get it out of the shell. Because I was doing it like a dude would, just doesn't know I'm starting to peel it. And she's like, you gotta smack it, you gotta get a knife and you smack it. So, I don't know, if you guys have a, a, a need to do some garlic, smack it. And to break it out of that skin, you don't have to peel it. It literally probably saved me 10 to 20 minutes because I had still been peeling uh, the garlic, but here I am. So, and then a uh, tomato paste. So the recipe calls for six ounces. But we're doing a double batch, so we have 12 ounces. You guys watched my last Cooking Like a Dude episode. We learned that tomato paste is pretty pasty, all right? So we uh, learned the flick method, but we just have to get this whole can in there. And uh, it's kind of sticky. So the cookbook said, don't let this stuff burn, okay? So this is like the first red flag. And if you're gonna screw this up, this is gonna be the step where uh, theoretically you could do that, so. We're gonna we're gonna stay on it. We're gonna keep stirring. See, I was worried about this sauce stuff, but it's it's still just put a bunch of stuff in a pan and and stir it together. So I, I'm not too intimidated. But this paste, it's like, look at it, guys. Can you see it? All right. I don't know how much how good I'll have to do to get it all in. Flick, flick. All right. So I gotta not let this burn, but it's gonna be about two to three minutes, and. Uh, We'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so that my pasty paste, it's mixed together pretty good. And then uh, since we last saw, I actually added a half a cup of red wine as well, and I've got that stirred in there too. So now just more stuff going in the pan, okay? So uh, tomatoes, Autumn in the book says, she actually has a pretty cool hint. She says that the canners, they save the best tomatoes for their whole tomatoes. So she recommends getting the whole ones. Um, you can get... Uh, you can get just diced or whatever you want, but she says if you do the whole ones, that's like their best kind of ingredients, and then you can just use a blender. See, this is where I'm getting screwed up. Go in there. All right, I'm making a mess. Cooking like a dude. My wife's behind the camera. She's like, "What are you doing?" But you know, sometimes guys, when you get in the chicken, get in the kitchen, you know, it might not be the cleanest thing. We can clean up. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm supposed to bring this to a boil, and uh, we got some other ingredients there too. So we're gonna do four uh, teaspoons of the agave nectar. Tablespoons. Tablespoons. See, making a mess. I got my teaspoons and my tablespoons mixed up. We're cooking like a dude. You know, I would have been blissfully ignorant, I guess, on that. But, Got my wife keeping track of me, so I'm thankful for that. All right, a pinch of uh, pepper, black pepper. We got a grinder thing. 
I'm just winging it a little bit there. Uh, not too much of that. And then two teaspoons of salt. I got one. I'm going to do another one. And another teaspoon there. All right, so I'm going to bring this to a boil. And then uh, we got a couple more steps. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, we got a full pan of this sauce, and I, I gotta tell you, it smells pretty good. We just got a couple things left to put in the pot, and then it'll be done. Uh, the recipe says that I'm gonna stir this for an hour on low heat occasionally. I'm not gonna just sit here for an hour, and you're definitely not gonna watch me do that. But uh, the last thing is we've got six ounces of the Parmesan cheese, so I'm gonna add that in there. I'm gonna stir it in. Get it now. All right, and then I tell you what, the hardest part of this whole recipe was cutting that basil because it just doesn't want to be chopped. I heard about this like rock, rock the knife method pretty effectively, but I'm going to stir this in slowly. We're going to add the basil and then I'm going to have my, my marinara sauce for all my other recipes. So it's just, this was because I got something that I was using a lot and I was spending a lot of money on it. And when you're trying to eat healthy, you get need to get just a couple things uh, that you can do easily. And a lot of the things that I liked, I poured marinara sauce on it. So rather than spend $5 on a thing that I was going through really fast and trying to buy the healthy stuff, I'm going to give it a shot and make my own. So I don't know how it tastes. I bet it'll be amazing. Those Sloppy Joe's last episode, they were amazing. So I can't wait to try more from this recipe. But thanks for growing with me. Thanks for you know, watching me step out and just uh, go a, a little bit more advanced. So I'm, I'm cooking like a dude, maybe in middle school rather than elementary school. And I, you know, I hope you guys are watching this and trying some new things too. Um, I love that you guys are doing this with me and being part of it and watching me grow. So I will see you next week and we'll probably put some of this sauce to use. Thank you.